kicking off Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander Heritage Month with the help of our next guest right here, paying homage to his roots and sharing a delicious Korean-influenced recipe. That's right. He's a food writer for mm -hmm. The New York Times, and he's the author of the book Korean American Food That Tastes Like Home. Eric Kim is with us here. Eric, congratulations you. on your new book, a now New York Times bestseller. Oh, yeah. And you talk about <laughs> this, is, this is coming from a love of home. When did you first start cooking? You know, I really started cooking when I was around 13 years old. I would come home and watch the Food Network, mm -hmm. and my mom was working, and I would sit in front of the television, and instead of watching cartoons, I would watch the Food Network shows, and that's how I kind of learned how to cook. And I call this generation, there were a lot of kids like me, I call us the Food Network babies. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> and this is sort of a recipe that pays homage to that time in my life when I was really experimenting, and pork chops were a big part of like my grocery runs. And my mom had never had them before, and she had oh, them wow. one day after work. And wow. so this is sort of for my mother. Yeah, it's yeah. Food Network babies. It's a thing, people. <laughs> Look it up. Okay, salt and pepper, pork chops, vinegar, scallions. Get us started here. Let's do it. So with these pork chops, I like to use thick cut pork chops it really teaches people like how meat should taste and so I only like to do salt pepper and brown sugar if you want to mix those in a bowl salt pepper brown sugar easy, easy enough easy enough sprinkle it over these and this dry brine is very simple this dish is inspired by samgyeopsal which is this Korean bar grilled pork belly and I take those flavors because when you have a pork chop like this we can like sear these ready brined ones right now if we want in a little oil so when you when you do this Salt, pepper, sugar, that's all. You really mm. can taste. Wow. Nice. You can really taste the pork, and that's what I want. I want why the sugar? To, why do you want the sugar? The sugar adds a little balance, okay. and it adds a little caramelization and as well. And why the dry brine versus the wet brine? Dry brines are great because you get to um, alter the protein structure of the meat so it stays juicy while you cook it yeah. without it being waterlogged. And so you end up with a nice sear by doing this. And the thing is, like, I like this dish because when people take a bite of it, they're like, oh, that's what pork tastes like. And that's sort of what I want people to know. Because that's one joy of this dish. You know, and we have some scallions here. Well, I what I like to do oh. is just like really thinly slice them so they end up like little ribbons like that. Oh, I like yeah. chop them, but those are much prettier They're that way, pretty. right? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do you want to dress sure, these let's scallion do it. greens actually okay. with a little gochukaru? Is this wonderful red pepper powder? So pretty, kind of like your like dress. Yeah. A little brown sugar. What you is can that just again? Add I'm sorry. All. What is that? Oh, gochukaru is a red pepper. It powder. looked like paprika to me, and but thank <laughs> you to the food stylist for getting this. This is the Korean guarikochu, which is like wow. what gochukaru is made out of. Look at that. She did a good job. Put the salt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the salt and pepper, um, and then a little vinegar. And mm. what that, what this does is, if you just stir it with that spatula, you can flip that now. Okay, actually. Okay. So I love these pork chops because well, after you sear it for like two seconds, and then you can put it in the oven Ooh. and have it have it finished going, wow. so it's really chill. Yeah. And then if we come over here, we have okay. our finished pork chops right here. I'm gonna plate one, and you just top this with some of the scallions that we've oh, made. Yum! And it's it's a really beautiful plate of food. But if you get a little bit of scallion, a little bit of the nutty sesame oil dipping sauce, and you get some of the salad, it's a really lovely bite of food. Mm, that's <laughs> so good. Let's Wait, taste what's the pork. this sauce? So How do you do it? So this is just yeah. sesame oil, salt, and pepper. We're sort of mimicking what we had here, and then I like to, you know, garnish at the very end because it's a really beautiful. Topping. It really is pretty. The brightness of the salad, the pork, it's all a flavor that really reminds me of home. Oh, wow. This yeah. is kind of a thing, a flavor combination I grew up with. My mom loves mm, pork. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're and on the right. It, Come over it, here, get some. And it took, like, no time at all to make. It took no time at all. And it's something you can make after, after work, anytime. But I, I just really like that this is a simple collection of flavors. Mm, I don't eat a lot when I'm on the show, but I'm like, eating the whole time. <laughs> thank this you, is thank really, you. really good, Eric. Thank you so much. Thanks and congrats everybody. on the book. We want everybody to know today's recipe you can find on Jimmy 3 Facebook page. And you can pick up the copy of Korean American Food That Tastes Like Home. It is in stores now. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.